John says. John said that, Isaiah said that, by the way, when he saw Jesus' glory. Isaiah saw the glory of Jesus. And when he spoke of Jesus, let's go back to where Isaiah wrote those words. Find out what chapter it was. And look what we read at the beginning of this chapter. I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Isaiah said, Here am I, send me. Isaiah 6, verse 8. He said, Go, and here's the words John quoted the day Jesus was rejected as king. I'm closing with this. Watch this. Hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. And folks, notice that the ark of God, I'm just not referring to the history here, just the fact that the ark was called the glory of God. Can everybody see that? When the ark was taken from Israel, it was called the glory of God is departed. Isaiah saw Jesus' glory. Isaiah saw Jesus' glory. I'm going to have to just skip a lot of this and just come to a close of this. We'll continue another night when the Lord wills. But what I'll say for this is right. Isaiah chapter 6 says, I saw the Lord. He was high and lifted up. His train filled the temple. Remember when he wrote that? John said that was when Isaiah saw Jesus' glory. That was when Isaiah spoke of Jesus. And on the day Jesus was rejected as king, John quotes Isaiah when Jesus was high and lifted up and his train filled the temple and he's on the throne. And folks, how many remember what was fixing to happen? All of a sudden the door started shaking. Do you remember why the doors were shaking? He saw in his vision the threshold, the doors of the temple started rocking like an earthquake. And then the seraphims give us the hint. The whole earth is filled with his glory. The whole earth is filled with his glory. Hallelujah. Isaiah was seeing the glory of Jesus. He saw Jesus on the throne. And the reason he quoted Isaiah in John chapter 12 was because Jesus was ready to go to the cross. He was ready to die for us. And when he would die and rise, he'd go right up to that throne Isaiah saw. But when he'd go to that throne, glory was ready to pound out into this world and fill the earth. And on the day of Pentecost, the glory Glory came down out of heaven and filled this whole earth. Hallelujah. And for 2,000 years, Jesus has been on the throne. How many are glad he's on the throne of David tonight? And on the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up. You want to know what this tongue talking is, boys? He said, this is Jesus. He's gone to the throne. He's at the right hand and he hath shed forth. He hath shed forth. He shed forth this. That's the glory Isaiah saw ready to explode out of the temple in heaven. Oh, hallelujah. And in Revelation chapter 22, wait till our next lesson. In Revelation 22, the lamb was on the throne. God was on the God and the lamb. A man united to us. How many know God became a man one day? Well, there's a man in your place as us that has gone up. And he was God himself anyhow. But the message is, it's a man and God. And out of that throne came forth a river of life, and that's the glory Isaiah saw ready to explode. Church, we're seated with him on that throne. Glory wants to explode out of every one of our lives. It wants to explode out of El Campo. Amen. It wants to explode through the doors of this church. How about the thresholds of the door of this church just shaking like they were in heaven, ready to bust out with the glory? Well, if we'll lift him up as king, let's stand tonight. If we'll lift him up as king, if we'll humble ourselves and honor him, we are on the throne with him. We are united to his glory, and we're in the kingdom, and we will reign in this place. Oh, let's praise him together right now. Hallelujah. Let's praise him together right now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. There's nothing more awesome to me than getting revelations like this from the Word. Man, I come to the end, you can tell. We speed up, we put it in overdrive, and we don't have enough time to get it out. And some of you look kind of cross-eyed at me. I'm going so fast. It's because I'm trying to stuff it out. I try not to do that. We'll get into this nice and good next time. But church, we're united to kingdom glory right now. 
Hallelujah. Can you feel wings as eagles? How many feel wings on your back now? Hallelujah. You feel light on your feet. Praise God. Wings wanting to lift us up. Just lift us up above all our cares. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's pray together. We rebuke every bit of doubt sent from the enemy and sent from hell. We rebuke every circumstance and situation that the enemy has sent to discourage people in this congregation, to diminish their faith. And Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, as we wait on you, you said that if we'd wait, you'd grant us those wings. Lord, there's some people here tonight that are waiting and waiting and waiting. They're making a stand by faith and they're waiting on you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Some people, you just got to wait sometimes. Somebody said the word wait there means like a waiter waits on people. That's not what the Hebrew means. I researched. That's not what it means. It means just wait. It means really just wait. Well, hallelujah. I remember when I was in the middle of a trial and I said, God, you never told me when the answer would come, but I know it's coming and I'll wait here for five weeks if I have to because I know the answer's on the way. And I waited and boom, the wings came onto me. I lifted up and I saw a miracle. Oh, let's clap under the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thus saith the Lord your God. Thus saith your God. When you feel my glory, it is the eagle's wings I am giving to you at that very moment. If you feel my glory now, if you've lifted me up in praise, I have actually endowed you with eagle's wings this very moment. Let that raise you up. Let that lift you up. Allow my glory to be fulfilled in your life, for I have given you eagle's wings. Oh, let's praise him. Hallelujah.